on here uh, today. It's uh, Monday, the 22nd of January 2018, and I'm about to ring Fortune Manning, um, Tony, and I'm going to make an appointment to go and take some documents, these documents, and to notarise. So he goes. He goes. <clears throat> oh, that didn't work. That didn't work. Oh, the wrong number. Sorry. Silly me. Try again. He knows this time. It's a good time. Dr. Fortune Manning, Nadi speaking. Yes, Nadia. Uh, could I speak to Tony Manning, please? Sure, Tony Fortune. One moment. Yes. This is Tony Fortune, voicemail. Please press zero to speak to my secretary or star to transfer to reception. Alternatively, Please leave me a message and I will respond when I return. Hi, um, Tony, it's uh, John Wanoa here speaking. Um, I wanted to uh, make an appointment to see you. I got some documents I want to apostolize and um, to notarize. They're in a document form, um, more volume book form. And um, please give me a call. Uh, they're very important documents between here and Britain, um, so uh, I think you'll be interested to have a look for me. Thank you. My number is 020-4085-1042, John Wanoa. Thank you. Yeah. <coughs> I didn't want to leave with his secretary. <coughs> uh, better to talk to him. He can call me. So I'm hoping that he will call me when I'm around the camera. So I better have my camera ready um, for him because I want to make a good thing of it with him um, in British terms uh, because uh, I think he rather uh, would be an astute person to stick to um, a straight King's Law on the matter of things that are happening at the present time in the United States as a declaration of war, um, state of emergency that's been created by the government itself, has created the ISIS war and then caused that to be an excuse for them to create a emergency state of, and put a cordon around it and seize the government and go and control it with a new government and everybody gets away with it. No, we have made a bill for 970 million trillion trillion pound note and locked them before that happened. I've been doing this over a few years now 
and leading up to this from the outset of the Lisbon Treaty in 2008 with the Queen and the Rothschilds, what is happening right now. And all of that has come out of this eight-point star, St. Patrick's, King William III, municipalities of making money out of the destruction of war through banks. So we are a bank, the Moai Powerhouse Bank, Power No, levy debtor instrument or judgment debtor instrument that I want this lawyer, as being a notary, to seal under his um, lawyer's bar office to go into the internal affairs in Wellington. Now I only need a letter from him to go to Graham Laylard, ex-detective, CRB, or ex-detective, Scotland Yard, uh, in Britain, UK. That's a UK meaning corporate Britain and not so much England, but Britain as a country state of Northern Ireland, England, Scotland, Wales. So I'm in the middle of the native title jurisdiction of authority and the flag that King William IV gave us was a contract receipt. So I'm taking these books along to the lawyer and hope that he can do it all at once. All these books I showed you in the back and the ones I'm just finishing off binding. So I'll now just wait for his call and then I'll take them in. I'm telling you all of this because I'm going to go through all the books with you and tell you how it works so that you have discovered what I'm saying is true, fact-sided evidence before it goes into the lawyer's office and into the government and into Britain. You already know online in this YouTube video there's 1495 YouTube videos out now and any one of those videos is my evidence to support the claims I make. And all these books have been signed through the years since 2008 with Mohi Timati Manikau and myself and other chiefs on Marais in Auckland, the East Coast and um, Waitangi and other Marais in Ngāpuhi and down this way around Auckland and the East Coast. So all of that has added up to all these documents to be sealed into law and it is a law that if it's not refuted next Friday, I've had plenty of time to refute anything I say this time, it's for sure. Now what happens here in lieu of the United States government being shut down as a state of emergency, these bills have got him to build them 970 million trillion trillion pound notes before they shut down the government illegally. They have done it illegally without a license from Westminster allowing them to use the Declaration of War flag, the 1834 King William IV flag that's connected in a contract with Referee for Manukau and King William IV, 1834 and with Te Rawaikato Whare Here Here Manukau and King George IV in 1823. Those two contracts went through the Edinburgh Magistrate Court as being a binding contract between the native Manukau Moriori and the Britain, British King George IV through Captain Lieutenant William Simons, or William Cornwallis Simons rather, um, in Edinburgh Magistrate Court and the other magistrate court in Helensville, Awaroa, native 
Overworld Bank, the Overworld Bank started there. And that's the title I'm going on. I've got all those titles here in these books that are going to be sealed and apostolized, legal. They are legal documents that will overshadow all other titles in the world that have gone under the British Empire. This is the British Empire and I'm speaking for the kings. The three kings, King William III, King William IV and King George IV and the three paramount chiefs, Te Rewaikato Wharehere Manukau, Rewherefa Manukau and Horitakuri. All the proof is in these books. The receipt is in these books for the sale and purchase of New Zealand country in Rewherefa Re Manukau <coughs> as a private contract. Now, the US federal state is full of fraud and corruption and everything it has done to create the ISIS is similar to what the government here, New South Wales and Australia and New Zealand, government in Wellington, created Māori. They created Māori the same way as they created ISIS. Just another tribe of their own to set up war amongst our people especially the Moriori, the originals. They put this tribe together and made them fight our own people. So what I'm doing here is shutting them all down with this flag and a 970 million trillion trillion pound note bounty on their heads. Each of every person in the Commonwealth world and all that's affiliated with the Queen gets a trillion pounds on their head bounty. That's seven billion people in the world minus those who are already in this Moai Crown King William IV Trust organization. Okay, so that's how it works. You're either on one side or the other. You're on the Queen's side. I'm appealing to the world that we have a king, King Ernest Augustus the Fifth the reigning monarch of Britain, UK, Hanover and Altair, New Zealand, Pacific Islands and the Commonwealth countries of the world under this flag is Dutch. William is not a Dutch. He is Spanish. So he's not succeeding to be the King of Britain, UK. That's why the Queen is in trouble. She's creating war in the United States so that she can make the law there, the power over whoever else with her own authority, not the king's authority, her own authority. So that's where we differ. That's where we differ, Mr. Trump, because you have no license from Britain like we do. We have the license. That's that flag with the eight-point star that will rip the money off you. That's where the money comes from, that eight-point star that John Key's wearing and the Queen's wearing and every other thug's wearing that belongs to us. I'm wearing it on this hat, Mr. Trump. I have the authority of that municipalities to bankrupt you all with the 970 million trillion trillion pound note and this flag behind me here. Okay, that's, I'm telling you, citing you for causing war and disruption of the people of America and creating disharmony for your own financial investment interests, not the people of America. You have set up this tribe of yours called ISIS with Israel as harm and injury to the King's Common Law people of America. And you're using that to create a false, fraudulent, illegal government out of the government you've already corrupted. You're trying to sweep away all your fraud. Now I've caught you. 
creating the fraud in amongst yourselves and no one's been arrested yet. So you're going to think you're going to get away with it by making a new government and start again as if there was no fraud. No, we've got you caught in the fraud. Mr. Trump, the pound notes here are on your head. The bounty is on your head. I'm apostolizing these documents with this lawyer, seal them, and send them to Britain to come and arrest you a lot of thugs and bill you all and seize all the assets of the Queen, the Rothschild banks, and all your racket over there in America and take over America. We're going to take it over Canada as well and Australia, New Zealand and Britain. And that's a state of emergency I'm coming from. I'm writing the same letter as what Trump wrote over you lot. Okay, I'm just going to duplicate his letter over you lot. I started it, but I'm going to start it when I finish these documents and binding them up after I finish our meeting in our court hearing in Te Ungwaka Marae Native Magistrate Court on this Friday, the 26th of January 2018, on the record in Britain and New Zealand and the world that if no one turns up who I've accused as fortunate and criminal, thug, pirate, threat against this country, then it becomes law. You will be arrested with disorder from that Mariah date on that court hearing, and that court has higher powers than any court here. I won my case on citations of what I say comes from the King to me as surrogate King William the Third, King William the Fourth and King George the Fourth and St. Patrick's Order and St. Mary's Church Order. Those are my two churches and my people, the Rogans, the Cosgroves and the Patricks. In Northern Ireland, Belfast, the authority of law I use right here over you, Mr. Trump. Your St. Patrick's in America, I'm afraid, the orange doesn't come next to the green. The green of St. Patrick is in Northern Ireland. And that's the end of that. He's buried there, and that's my title as well. The Moai standing in New York, that's my title, Mr. Trump. And standing in Washington, D.C., that's my title, the memorial. And standing in London, and France, and Belgium, and New Zealand. <coughs> and other countries as well. That's my title over you lot of immigrants under the Immigration Act 1701. See, you're only there temporary, Mr. Trump. You could be pushed out of there because I'm there for the native people that you're screwing. We're going to screw it all off you with this flag. This is a state of emergency flag that I'm putting right over you as a threat against us, the Paramount Chiefs, and all the other Chiefs on their native lands. That's their land. It's not yours, Trump. It's not yours. You might as well pack up and go back home to Scotland. Okay, that's what I'm going to say. I'm hoping this guy rings me. But I'm going to be ready for him and carry on finding the books. I'll have the other video really ready to go to. The little one. I think it's going to look bad for you. No. Not fair. I chucked it up. Anyway, we've got that one. That will do. Good old girl. Good pros. Pretty good. So that's all I want to say at the moment. I'm going to and finish these books off. It's been frustrating. I've got all the pages all mixed up. But I just cite each page on each page in our court hearings. I'm allowed to do what we're allowed to do. We don't have to follow the laws here because they're lower than what we are. Um, and whatever they do, they have no seal, no authority, no jurisdiction, no nothing, just the women. We have a operating company here, Na Atua Iwa Aotea Limited, 
that takes out Nati Fatua. It's a shadow over Nati Fatua, a bullshit tribe. It's not real, people. It's not real. It's been made up by the Queen. She has faked her crown and her coronation. That's why she walked out of Westminster and brought the Muslims in to mess it all up. Bitch. You bitch queen. You people in England are stupid. You're all fucking gone in the head. Lunatics. To let a queen run all over you and then plead ignorance that you're poor. It's your fault for letting her be a queen when she's a thug. Okay? That's why she's operating from EU Parliament and trying to shut down Westminster with that Muslim shit, shithole, shitty, that's going with Hillary Clinton now to go and talk to her and not Trump. You see, those white people and that black shit are the thugs who are running this fucking world off the rails for their own bloody pocket. They should be locked up, all of them. They, they, they should be locked up. We're, we're going to lock them up as soon as this flag gets going. As soon as this law gets going, it's law. Okay? Contract. Makes law. I'm making contracts to pull everybody into contract with me. If you're in the road and tempering with anything of legal documents against these books I just showed you, then you get a trillion pounds on your head and someone's going to come and pick you up. Pick you up and seize everything. Seize the whole bloody lot. That's what we're doing. We're not going to muck around. There'll be plenty of jobs around for people to go around checking all the properties. We're going to have people to go and check all the properties. Titles. You've got to get the title because if you don't, you'll be removed. Okay, that's how it's going to work. I'm going to have the pound note paid out to the military to pay them out because the EU Parliament is squashing the military out in Britain. Well, the only way to fix that up, you people over there, is let me write the pound note against all the fraudsters. I know who they are. I can tell. I can tell. I've got a big lower long list of them. I've did this all my life to pick them all out and go after them. You can go after them, military and any other military in the other countries. I'll pay you with the pound note. I'm allowed to do that. Okay? I'm about to do it. But I want this lawyer, one lawyer, to notarise the documents. Because if he doesn't, I'll just go to another one. But I'm picking that he will, because it's just going to show guilt if no one does it. I'm going into the Queen's Bench Court as a corporate company. You can't do this without being a corporate company and have the whole lot of the documents, not just some, all of it, right back to when the fraud started. I've tracked the fraud of the Queen all the way through from the Lisbon Treaty because that's when I took Cook Street, 2008. That's when Mohi Manico gave me the complaint about his land in Queen Street when he got kicked off the land selling stuff on the side of the street with Rita, his daughter, in Queen Street. And the council told him he had to go or get arrested for selling stuff to make money and the Chinese was the ones that complained against him. If he was alive now he'd have a lot to say about the Chinese in their trade because he didn't get anything. He never did get anything out of all his efforts and it's bungled on me. Okay so I'm here for what he didn't finish off and because he didn't know the law too well or the banking system too well then I picked it up off his documents and Lobo, Morris Baker's documents. I picked it all off his documents and off Maura Hoffman, Russell's documents I've got here as well. Okay, so those are the very things I'm saying uh, that um, constitutes authority, legal authority of what I say is true, is the truth, so help me God. That's the truth, I say. Okay, so um, he hasn't read yet, so we're going to a bit of time. That's all for now. Well, I'll leave this video there for now, and I'll have it switched on, ready to go. So, see you later. Bye.